Hi there, it's Katie, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about learning how to help me fix my typos by submitting pull requests on GitHub. It is not hard. This will be super easy. You'll be shocked how easy it is. So uh, I just embarrassingly spent maybe 30 seconds in loop docs trying to find a typo. It didn't take long. So I'll give you an example. A really common frequently misspelled word for me is update. Um, for some reason, I can't get that word with the D and the P correct. So uh, if you ha find a typo, what you're going to do is you're just going to say, okay, there's my typo. Go up to the website at the top in the URL, and there's a hierarchy of the way the fol folders are organized. So you're just going to make sure you kind of take a note of that. Okay, it's under operation, loop docs, operation, loop settings, Omnipod pump. Okay, great. So if you want to, you're going to go to GitHub to where loop docs actual files are stored. I will put a link for this video and a link to the site and everything like that in the YouTube video comments area, as well as hopefully get this into loop docs as an idea um, for people how to give back and help me out with typo uh, purging. So basically here, I'll move these over so that my uh, window in window doesn't uh, cover the view. So we go to loop docs where they're stored. It's in GitHub. You're going to click on Docs, and then you start following the URL. The, so once you get to the Docs folder, the next one here, then you start looking for the navigation. You need Operation. Okay, we'll click on Operation. Make this bigger so you can see it too. Then it says Loop Settings. Okay, Loop Settings. And it says Omnipod Pump. Okay, Omnipod Pump. Great. Click on that. And that'll bring us to the actual file page for what is displayed and what you're looking at. So you need to scroll to where you find where the typo is down on this page. But first, we're going to click this uh, little pencil button. And if you hover over it, it says edit the file in your fork of this project. OK, great. Click that. And I'll say you're editing a file in a project you don't have right access to. It will create a new branch that you can do. So don't worry about it. If you don't have a fork, if you don't have a branch, it creates everything for you. We're just going to scroll down to where that is. And it was in the configurations area. OK, there it is. And there's my typo. Ud pate. We want it to be update instead. So we just change that. I probably have other typos on here, but I didn't actually check for it. But once you get that one in, you're going to scroll all the way down to the page and you're going to just say a real brief description of what this is, typo fix. You say updating your <laughs> more typos, updating your udpate and propose the file change. Pretty simple. Once you do that, it'll create a new screen. It'll show that you're creating a pull request. Yes, confirm you want to do the pull request. Tell it you, it'll bring in the information that you typed in earlier. Create the green pull request button again. And after that, your typo, your typo fix has been submitted. That's exactly how easy it is. It's super quick, so easy. And then what happens is I'll log in to GitHub. I'll look at my pull request list and I'll see a bunch of typo fixes here waiting for me that I can just accept and approve. Um, you can go to that and see exactly what files have changed too, which is kind of neat. You can see in red exactly what the old things were. In green is what it'll look like afterwards. Um, not quite sure why I didn't say. Usually that would be highlighted in red and green, but that is what is there and it's all good. So very easy. I'd totally love for you guys to just find my little typo Easter eggs and we'll squash them all. Thank you. Have a good one.